Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we're going to be creating a Blinking Lights animated MP4 entirely in Procreate. So this is the final outcome of the tutorial. As you can see, we've got that blinking lights effect. We've got a few holiday doodles and some lettering. So I'm going to jump into Procreate and I will meet you there. Okay, so we're in Procreate. I've created a brand new canvas. The canvas size is 1500 pixels by 1500 pixels. And I've also made it 300 DPI just to have that super high resolution. So everything looks really, really crisp. So this is the color palette that we're going to be using right down here. And if you click in the link in the video description, you can download this color palette entirely for free. And the two brushes that we're going to be using for this, I am using one of my brushes out of my Font Lovers Procreate brush set. I'm using the mono marker. This is really nice because it's a mono weight brush, but it's got a little bit of texture to it, which I like because it gives a bit more of a rustic feel and some extra personality to the final layout. We're also using a free dotted brush that I have. The dotted brush looks just like this, but you could stamp it with your own finger if you want to use the default hard airbrush within Procreate. But this brush is entirely free if you are a free every Tuesday email subscriber. There's a link in the video description to that as well. So I'm going to go and grab this mono marker brush first and then we'll get going. I do want to mention that this tutorial is a bit more advanced, especially when it comes to creating an animated GIF or an animated MP4. So if you missed my beginner's tutorial on creating animated GIFs and animated MP4s within Procreate, I'll leave a link in the video description. I would definitely recommend go and check those out first and then come back here and you'll be able to follow along exactly. So if anything's unclear at all, just reference those other tutorials and you'll be all good to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is set a background color. I don't usually use the background color layer within Procreate because it behaves much differently than a regular layer. But for this tutorial, it's kind of ideal the way it behaves. So we're just going to tap on the background color and choose the darkest blue color right here. And that way we don't need to have this background color as its own layer within all the other groups that we create. So so it's just a little bit of a time saver. So on this first layer, we're going to call this holiday branch. And I'm going to start off by creating all my holiday doodles first, and then we will animate everything and get it going from there. So I'm going to grab my lighter blue color right here, and I've got my mono marker, and I'm just going to create a branch that comes off of the top up on the side. So just branches right here. And then on these branches, I'm just going to doodle in some curved leaves and then color them in with this mono marker brush. Okay, and then to fill the branch out a little bit more, I'm going to add these same leaves onto the branches themselves. Okay, now that I've got my branch all set, I'm going to add in some evergreen branches. So I'm going to create a new layer right above my holiday branch, and then I'm going to drag it underneath my holiday branch, and then just label this one evergreen. And then I'm going to grab my kind of limish green color right here. It's the one right next to the yellow, and just go in here and create some evergreen branches. So I'm going to reduce the size of this down to about 8%, and then just draw a line up, and then draw extra lines coming off of it to create that evergreen branch. And I'm just going to tuck these in wherever I've got some bigger gaps that feel like they need to be filled out. I'm just going to drop a branch in those areas. Okay, now that we've got our evergreen branches in there, we're going to add in some berries just to fill everything out just a little bit more. So I'm going to create a new layer right above evergreen and call this berries. I'm going to grab my dark red color right here, increase the size of my brush. We're gonna go up to about 30% and then put in some dots. Okay, and then we'll just add some highlights onto our berries. So I'm going to create a new layer right above the berries layer and label this berries highlights. I'm going to grab the light pink color right here, reduce the size of my brush down to about 10%. And then I'm going to make my light source coming from this way, so the upper right. So I'm just going to make sure on all these berries that that's where the highlight is. Okay, and now we're ready to create the string for our lights. So I'm going to create a new layer right above my holiday branch and call this light string. I'm going to grab my teal color right here. 
reduce the size of my brush to about 8%. And now this part's really important. If you're unfamiliar with masking, I'll leave a link in the video description to my masking tutorial. Because we're going to be utilizing masking here, we want this to look like it's draping over our branches. So wherever the string comes up and around, we want to make sure it's really, really tight and close to a branch right there. So it looks realistic for draping. Let me make this just a little bit bigger. I'm going to go up to 10%. So I'm going to come up and then as I'm coming around, it's going to be really, really tight to the branch right there. And then I'm just going to come back around and do that a few times until we make it all the way across the screen. Okay, and now we're just going to mask away the areas that are covering the branch. So I'm going to tap on the layer thumbnail and choose mask, make sure black is selected. And then we're just going to brush away the part that's overlapping right here. Okay, we've got our light string all set and now we can start putting our lights on. So we're going to create a new layer right above it and label this one lights. And we're going to grab our yellow color now and we're also going to grab that free dotted brush that I mentioned at the very beginning of the video. So that's right here. And let's see what the size looks like. That's actually a pretty good size. The size is 20%. So what I'm going to do is come up to the middle part right here and then come back down. Okay, it's okay if the lights aren't exactly on the line or if they're just a little bit off, that's totally fine. It's obviously hand-drawn and it's supposed to look that way. So whenever you have gaps right here with this brush, sometimes it'll start with a dot, sometimes it won't. So just to correct it, all you have to do is take your stylus and just tap where you want a dot and it's that easy to put some extra ones in there. So that's why I don't freak out when I'm brushing it with where my dots are landing because I can always add some extra ones in afterwards. That looks good. All right, we've got our lights in here now and now we want to duplicate our lights. So we're going to slide our lights to the left and choose duplicate. So this one is going to be labeled glowing lights and it's going to be underneath your lights layer. So let's rename this one glowing lights. Okay, so in order to preview our glowing lights, we're going to temporarily turn off our lights layer and then we're going to apply Gaussian blur to them. So you're gonna tap on your magic wand right here and choose Gaussian blur and then just tap and drag and we can see how much glow we want applied to it. So I want a fair amount. I'm gonna go up to about 11% right here and that feels really good. And now on my regular lights layer, I'm going to reduce the opacity of it. So tap on your lights layer, tap on the N, and reduce the opacity down to about 50%. Okay, so when it's not glowing, you can still see that there are lights there, but it's even more so when they are glowing. We really want that glowing effect to, to be really noticeable and that will help accomplish that. Okay. So now we've got our glowing lights all set. And the last thing we're going to do is add in our lettering before we apply that animated effect. So I'm going to grab my mono marker. Once again, I'm keeping it in the yellow color, but I'm going to create a new layer right up at the top and label this one lettering. And I'm going to increase the size of my brush to about 15% and just write in whatever type of phrase that you would like. All right, I've got my lettering all set. If you would like to create the same style of lettering, this is the simple script style. I gave away some free practice sheets for Procreate and printable ones a few weeks ago, so I'll leave a link in the video description to that as well. All right, so I'm just going to make that a little more centered. Okay, and that looks good. So now we need to apply the blinking lights effect. So we've got all the tools that we need to be able to accomplish it. So the first thing we need to do is alternate our lights. So I'm going to tap on my glowing lights layer. I'm going to temporarily turn off my lights layer. I'm going to apply a layer mask to my glowing lights layer. So I'm going to tap on it and choose mask. And now I'm going to grab my, I've got my mono marker brush already selected. You can select a more opaque brush. This one's got a little bit of texture. So I'm just going to grab my chunky marker just cause it's right there. But any opaque brush will work. It'll just make it a little bit faster as you're masking. And I've got black selected. So we're going to hide every other one of our glowing lights to accomplish this effect. So I'm just painting over and then this one would be the next one. So this one would be hidden as well.
Okay, so we've got every other glowing light selected now, and if I turn on my lights there, you can see the difference between the glowing lights and the lights that aren't glowing at the time. And if you're already familiar with creating an animated GIF or an animated MP4 within Procreate, you know that we need to group everything together. So I'm just going to slide all of my layers to the right and group them. The background color stays on its own at the very bottom. So this is my first group, so I'm just going to label this one Glow 1. And now I'm going to duplicate this entire group, slide it to the left, choose duplicate. I'm going to temporarily turn off the glow one layer, that way we can see what we're doing. I'm going to rename this one glow two. Toggle this down and what we want is for all the glowing lights to now be turned off and the ones that are turned off to be glowing. So a really, really quick and easy way to accomplish this is just to come to your layer mask for your glowing lights, tap on that layer thumbnail and choose invert. When you do that, it will reverse the selection. So when I do that, you'll notice that all the glowing lights will shift to the non-glowing lights. So I'm going to tap on that and that's exactly what we want so we can toggle that up. Now we need to turn on both of these layers in order to accomplish that animation effect and now we can preview our animation. So I'm going to tap on the wrench and choose share and if you want to you can preview it as an animated gif or an animated mp4. If you'd like a looping video in your camera roll so you can preview what it feels like to loop over and over again you'll want to first export it as an animated gif so you can preview that looping effect. If that doesn't matter to you you can export it immediately as an animated MP4. If you're posting this to Instagram, you have to post it as an animated MP4. Otherwise, it will not loop. It will just be a still image. So for Instagram animations, make sure you're exporting animated MP4 and uploading that MP4 to Instagram. So I'm going to preview this as an animated MP4. And you can see right here, it's a very small preview. I wish they would make these previews larger. But you can see how fast those lights are blinking right now. And if I toggle this up to like 7, and you can see it's really crazy now with how fast it's blinking. So just choose whatever is most comfortable for you. I personally like three frames per second. I think seven's way too high, but that feels just fast enough where it's not over, where it's not overwhelming. So I'm going to hit full resolution and then just save this to my camera roll. So save video, and then that will be saved directly to my camera roll. So let's preview this. I'm going to export this as an animated GIF so we can preview this within my camera roll right now immediately as a looping video. So now that it's exported, I'm going to jump into my camera roll and we can go preview it. Okay, so that is the final outcome of this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can be notified of new tutorials just like this one in the future. Once again, links to everything mentioned within this video are right in the video description. For more Procreate lettering tutorials and freebies, head on over to my site, every-tuesday.com. You can also find me over on Instagram. My handle is everytuesday. If you try this out and post it there, I would love it if you tag me. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next week.